Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It's dark and cozy. I am going to do five more random facts about Maine. This will actually be facts number 21 to 25, and I think I'm going to end this random fact series there, and then I'm going to move on to another one. Something else. I'm having fun with it because it's fun to see if I know anything about the state that I've lived in almost my entire life. <laughs> and I know some things. If you want to get caught up in this series, I have a playlist down below, and that's all you need to know. You can just go watch the other random facts about Maine and see how I did. I think only the first video were facts that I actually was just telling you, but then since then, I have been taking a trivia quiz, and I will be doing that again tonight, which was more fun because I just have to read the questions, and then I have to try to figure out the answer before I look. So let's just get going. Number 21. What Mainer was known as the Lily of the North? I am absolutely clueless. It would have to be a woman, Lily of the North, I don't know, like, any famous women that are from Maine. I know Rudy Valley was from Maine. <laughs> we have some winners. Rudy Valley, Judd Nelson. <laughs> the guy who played Monk, he's from Maine. I like him. Um, Lily of the North. I mean, I don't even know if I can come up with a guess. Can you? Who? Hmm. My goodness. I don't know. I'm going to just guess Virgin Mary. <laughs> as if. What a stupid answer. As if anybody knows this person. Lillian Nordica? Are we supposed to know her? Lillian Nordica was born in Farmington, Maine in 1859 and was one of the leading opera singers of her time. Her birthplace is preserved as a historic house. Well, I did not know Lillian. She ain't no Virgin Mary, I bet. <laughs> okay. I know this one. The Seashore Trolley Museum is located in which Maine town? Now, I'm going to be torn, though, between Kennebunk, Maine, or Kennebunk Port, Maine. Got to be in the port, don't you think? I think it's in the port, because... Ah, uh, it could be Kenny Bunk. I'm going with Kenny Bunk Port. Kenny Bunk Port. Founded in 1939, the Seashore Trolley Museum has collected more than 250 trolleys, streetcars, and other historic forms of public transportation. And I went on a field trip with my son there when he was little, and I think I've been on it before. But my father worked in Kennebunk Port, so that's why I just remember. I don't know if we used to go buy it or just see the signs for it or something. But I'm sure my father took us there, too. We went to every museum there was with my father. He was a museum kind of guy. I loved going to museums. This will be number 23. How many state parks are there in Maine? Again, absolutely clueless. Why would anyone know that? This Arcadia Park, or is it Acadia? Is it A-R-C or A-C? I don't even know. <laughs> I am going to guess seven. Seven is a good number. It's probably one. Thirty? <laughs> Why the hell do we have 30 state parks? Including Grafton Notch State Park and Baxter State Park. I have heard of Baxter State Park. I don't know about Grafton Notch. That, that sounds like it itches. <laughs> Number 24. Where is Maine State Fair held? The State Fair. I'm very familiar with... Acton Fair, which is a little fair that we have right outside of Sanford. And Freiburg Fair is a, a big one. Uh, I'm going to have to probably guess Cumberland. Isn't there a fair? Cumberland Fair? I'm going with Cumberland. Bangor? In Stephen King territory? Held in late August, early September. Didn't know anything about that one. 
I'm surprised that my father didn't take me to more fairs, because he loved going to fairs, too. For a man who worked two jobs his entire life, he uh, always took us places. Every weekend, we would just get in the car, and we would ride and just go places. It was fun. I liked it. Well, I did not know anything about a Bangor fair. One more. Let's end on a bang. What is the average temperature in July? What did we do that I failed at? The snowfall in January or something? Or the temperature? It was the temperature in January. Okay, in July, average temperature. <laughs> and our temperature is Fahrenheit. 75. Wait a minute, that would be a little low, average, because... Mm. Gee, I hate to say 80, because that's like between 70 and 90. Maybe 75. I'm going to say 80. 80! I got one! I have half a brain. <laughs> okay, folks. I just wanted to at least finish up this series. I wasn't sure if I was going to stop at 25 or go on to 50, but I think we'll stop at 25. I have some other ideas about random facts, things. And if not, you know I'm filled with series, so there will be something else in its place. I hope you enjoyed this series. Like I said, you can go check out the playlist and get caught up. And I will be back with more soon. Bye. If you click on the video at the top, that will take you through the playlist for the random facts of Maine. And if you click on the video at the bottom, that will take you through the 100 random facts about me. You'll get to learn all kinds of things that you don't need to know. <laughs>